Um, today I'm driving to Fredericksburg, Hope Park, Fredericksburg to pick up a 2006 Suzuki Katana um, GSX 600, no, I'm sorry, GSX 750F. 2006 Suzuki Katana. Um, got home from a trip and this whole virus thing's going on so I figured, ah, what the hell, let me look at Copart. Um, surely people don't want to buy motorcycles and risk um, getting coronavirus, right? And so, um, sure enough, uh, first day back uh, is this Katana. It looks, looks beautiful. Um, I looked at the title search and it looks like it hasn't been registered. Um, it was purchased in 2006, same owner had it um, till 2012, and it hasn't been registered since 2012. So they had it for six years, right? Um, I'm hoping they didn't put much mileage on it. It looks like it hasn't been dropped. Um, I'll show you the pictures here um, as I'm talking from Copart's site. But anyway, um, long story short, um, it was up for auction. Um, and I waited for it for the live auction and it came up for 200 bucks. I um, bid the 200 bucks and it expired. The, the auction timed out and I won for 200 bucks, right? No other bids. Um, so I thought, yeah, right, I'm not gonna win it, right? Um, so uh, I go to the site and it says that it, it was a waiting approval. It was one of these, it was a donated vehicle. Um, so I go to the Copart site and pull it up and it says um, the seller minimum is $1,000, right? And so I'm like, yeah, they're not gonna take anywhere near what I've been. Um, a little bit later on, uh, well no, the next day, the next day I got a, um, I got a counter offer from the seller for $550. So they already like halved their, um, their minimum um, bid, minimum value or reserve on the, on the bike. Um, it's a Katana. If it was a GSX-R, I'd be like, ah, sold, right? Um, but it's a Katana. I'm not, I'm not really stoked about the bike. Um, other than, you know, it's another bike to have in the arsenal. Thinking about just renting it out on um, one of these rent your bike sites. Um, anyway, I, I, I countered $300. Um, two hours later, they accepted, right? So I got the bike for 300 bucks. Um, Suzuki Katana, 2006, 2000 bucks. Looks like it hasn't been dropped. Pretty good deal. Um, add in Copart fees, it brings it up to 473. There's like a um, gate fee of like 60 bucks or something. And, um, you know, all these fees. The buyer fee was 110. Virtual bid fee, 39. Um, gate fee, 59. Um, and actually, so that brought it to 508. Somewhere in there, they like, they like added in the credit card fees. Um, facility. Just saw a forklift guy go back. Looked like maybe to get the motorcycle. I'm like praying that they don't forklift my motorcycle. Carry it out on a forklift. We will see. It's wild. 
never seen a bike carried like that before. I got the bike. Um, the bike looks good. Uh, it pissed me off that the um, the guy getting it uh, from the yard um, grabbed it with the forklift and he put like straps through the wheels. And of course, the front strap tore up the uh, front fender. So now I got to find a Candy Apple Red GSX 750 Red friend fender on eBay, you know, so, more money, uh, just because the lazy guy doesn't want to push the bike out, so, I'm going to see next time if I get it, I'm going to tell them in the office, look, they, they cost me money this time, you know, it's probably a $40 part, so, um, please, please walk it out, or let me walk it out, um, the guy last time I got the bike, he, he walked, he walked it out, he pushed it out, um, he's out of breath, but he pushed it out for me, so, um, yeah, I mean, that kind of sucks. That's, that's, that's shitty. That's shitty. Those guys should be able to do better than that. Um, so, overall, I'm disappointed because I, I, I know the fender, the fender was perfect in the pictures, and I didn't get what was in the pictures. You know, so, boo-hoo, right? But, you know, talking a $40, $40 part on a bike that costs, that I bid, three, I paid $300 for, right? Paid $300 for, and then I... I paid a, a $60, $60 fee to pick up the bike in the yard, and they can't even push it out. They have to, they have to put straps around it and break the bike. So, um, really shitty, Copart. Really shitty. Um, do better. Do better. So, all right. I hope hopefully I'll be in a better mood.
so right off the bat this thing looks pretty clean um, I noticed that the throttle is jammed so the carbs are probably um, carbs are probably all clogged up which probably is all that's wrong with it um, this thing sticker on it shows uh, his last last um, registered 13 2013 um, as far as damage on the bike it looks like all the damage was caused at Copart I'm assuming um, this here looks like from the strap or something maybe um, I don't see any any real like damage damage stuff that can be bucked out little scrapes and stuff here and there um, you know this is an 06 bike though the main thing was on on this fender so on this side little crack there no big deal I can epoxy that on the other side probably won't even see that on this side they tore it all to hell again I'll just epoxy this together from the back try to make the best of it um, this was where they put the strap at Copart through and it just ripped that up um, you know they should be more careful than that but and then um, it was it looked worse yesterday there was some buffs on this side of the bike and you could tell it, it happened at Copart because there was still like the debris was like stuck to it little pieces of debris here so they obviously dropped it at Copart on the side um, but not a lot of damage you can see it buffs buff out um, it's red so I can take in um take in um, find some nail polish that'll match it and buff it in there shouldn't even be able to see see when I'm done um, this thing should clean up nice I mean look at these fins this this bike again I don't think this thing's ever seen rain this thing is so clean for an 06 so clean um, so yeah yeah um, I'm thinking that right now it looks like I haven't got the battery hooked up, so I don't know if the fuel pump is good or not. But right now I'm thinking the carbs are clogged. And that'll probably fix it, right? Like clean the carbs. Um, that's probably why this is jammed. Either that or those those lines to the carbs are jammed. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't it, it shouldn't be like that. It, gets, it feels like it's locked up. Um, so the carbs are probably just solid inside. From sitting since... 2013 um, pipe looks clean um, yeah I mean everything looks clean is there oil in this thing let's see yeah there's oil um, I don't know it's at an angle so I think we're just seeing I think it's just oil in there constantly um, tires look good even Con continentals um, yeah so, tires still have they have good tread Dunlap on the front Continental on the back um, so yeah yeah I'll pull this fairing off and see what we got um, I'm not a fan of the katana you know the, the fairing that just kind of wraps the whole bike but I don't know it may grow on me I'm thinking of just keeping this bike and using it um, driving it and then also renting it um, I don't know, it really depends on, on how, what it sounds like, how it drives. Um, someone did a hack job on this. Did like a fender eliminator. It looks like they just took a hacksaw blade to it. So I'll clean that up. Um, maybe get a fender eliminator thing. Um, who knows? So, um, but yeah, yeah, it looks like a new tire on here. Um, doesn't look like they even, they even used the outside of it is still flappiness on the um look at the rubber looks like they just replaced this tire um all the way across might maybe put 10 miles on it um so yeah not bad uh 150 dollar tire on a um 300 bike right um chain looks good everything looks super clean on this bike so for yeah, three hundred dollar bike um, with copart fees comes out to about two hundred dollars. Um, so far, I'm happy. So um, 
Let me taste this.